There are 29 days left in the year and you are behind on your reading goal. Good afternoon, my name is Camden and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to help you achieve your Goodreads reading goal by giving you a bunch of short book recommendations that you will be able to finish in the next 29 days. I have compiled a list of short books that range all the way from two pages long to 146 pages long, and a lot of them are even under 50 pages, so that we can help you finish out the year strong and achieve your goals. I'm going to start with the shortest books that I have and work my way up to the longest books on this list. First one that I have to recommend you is The Egg by Andy Weir. Andy Weir is the author of The Martian and Artemis. This book by him is only two pages long and it was actually quite interesting. For only two pages, it packs quite a big punch and it actually follows a consciousness throughout the span of its life and as it is being reincarnated. Just like all of Andy Weir's books, it's kind of a science fiction book and it challenges our idea of what happens after we die. I thought this book was really interesting and quite brilliant and even if you don't need to finish a Goodreads reading goal, it would be a good like really really short story for you to read. It is listed on Goodreads so you can read it and include it on your Goodreads challenge. The next three books that I have to recommend are part of the Hush collection. Amazon Prime or Amazon Kindle Unlimited I believe puts out these like short story collections pretty frequently and they're all by different authors but they revolve around a similar theme so this one was their thriller collection. The first one that I have to recommend is The Gift by Alison Galen. It follows an actress whose daughter has gone missing and she and her husband reach out to a psychic for help finding her. This thriller was really interesting. I ended up giving it a five star and it is only 28 pages long. So a very quick read for you. The next book that I wanna recommend from this collection is Snowflakes by Ruth Ware. This short story follows a girl named Leah and her siblings as they have been raised in isolation by their very paranoid father. This was another one that packed a big punch for me and it came in at only 31 pages, so very quick for you to get through. And the third and final book that I wanna recommend from the same collection is Treasure by Oyenken Braithwaite. This is the author of My Sister the Serial Killer, which was a really popular thriller a few years back. This short story follows a low-level Instagram model who has a few thousand followers, and we are following from the perspective of a stalker of hers as he decides that it's time to go meet her in person and take their relationship to the next level. I think I ended up giving that one four out of five stars, but it was still a strong read, especially for how short it is at 31 pages. And again, all of those are part of the Hush collection. I think they're available on Amazon. Should be like $1.99 each if you want to purchase the ebook. And yeah, I think you will enjoy them. The next book that I have on this list is Finn by Stephen King. This is a really short 35 page novella by Stephen King that was released earlier this year and it follows a man who falls victim to the absolute worst case of mistaken identity when he is kidnapped by a gang of criminals. We're following Finn as he is trying to convince his captors that he is not the man that they're looking for and navigating this whole criminal world. The next book that I have to recommend is Three Truths and a Lie by Lisa Gardner. This one is 52 pages and I read this one earlier this year at the urging of one of my very best friends. This book is following a detective as she is attending one of those true crime conventions and as she is discussing with an audience one of the most interesting cases she ever had to solve. I really enjoyed the format of this book, how there's like audience participation and people throwing out suggestions. It really felt to me like listening to a true crime podcast, which is something I love to do in my free time. So I really, really enjoyed this one. Five stars. Definitely pick it up. The next book that I have to recommend is another thriller, and that is The Grown Up by Jillian Flynn. This book is 67 pages, and it's a really interesting novel. We are following 
a psychic who is brought in to cleanse a house. However, when she arrives to cleanse the house, she ends up meeting her client's young child who seems a bit off. This one definitely deals heavily with like the evil child trope and I found the amount of plot twists in this book to be absolutely baffling given how short it was. This one was a real roller coaster ride and definitely worth the read in my opinion. The next book that I have on this list is The Tea Dragon Society by K. O'Neill. This one is a very small graphic novel so even shorter of a read and it is only 71 pages. This book is so so cute and I absolutely loved it. It has very cozy vibes. We are following some young children as they are making friends and learning about the art of tea making and caring for tea dragons. These little guys. The art style in this series is so sweet and the characters in this are so cute and heartwarming. I really love these graphic novels and yeah they should be a breeze for you to get through. The next book on my list is Comfort Me with Apples by Catherine M. Valenti. This book is 103 pages but it is so worth the read. The plot twist at the end of this book absolutely floored me. I couldn't stop thinking about this book for days. It begins by following a married woman who seems to be in quite an abusive relationship. A lot of her friends around her are kind of warning her about her husband but trying to do so in a subtle way but the outward image of their marriage is like of this very like perfect everything is fine type of a situation and you're trying to figure out what is going on behind closed doors. I think this book is so well done and it absolutely blew my mind. You definitely need to pick it up if you haven't. The next book on my list is The House at the Bottom of the Lake by Josh Mallerman. This book is 122 pages long. This book is a really interesting and eerie one. We are following two teenagers at the very beginning of a relationship together and on their first date they end up going out on a lake in a canoe. While they are out on the lake they end up seeing a house that is fully submerged in the water and they spend the next several dates going out and trying to like scuba dive into this house and discover how it got there, who used to live there, all of this stuff. I thought this book was really interesting, the concept really drew me in, and it doesn't get too too scary so I don't think it would be difficult to handle if you're not too much of like a horror person. We're definitely getting towards the end here. Next book on my list is The Murders of Molly Southbourne by Today Thompson. This one is 122 pages and it is definitely more of like a sci-fi novel. We are following a character named Molly as she is experiencing this really interesting condition where anytime she spills a drop of blood, a new clone of herself forms. Not only that, but these clones then quickly turn violent and try to kill her. Throughout the book, we're following Molly and her parents as they're trying to navigate this condition that she's dealing with and find ways around it. Also, as she undergoes some scientific experimentation to try and figure out how she came to be this way. This book was definitely really interesting and I've seen that there are actually sequels of this novel coming out which I definitely want to get my hands on as well so maybe reading this book and the sequel back to back would be an option for you. And the final book on my list today for short book recommendations to help you achieve your Goodreads goal is Elevation by Stephen King. I found this book to be a very heartwarming story we are following a man who over time is gradually losing weight, but not in the way that people typically lose weight. Instead, gravity seems to be losing its hold on him. Over time, he is becoming lighter and lighter and beginning to float away. However, he is spending his remaining time by befriending a lot of his neighbors and he makes friends with a lesbian couple who lives next door to him and really trying to spend whatever time he has remaining like having a positive impact on other people's lives. I really enjoyed this book. I thought it was quite sweet, especially for Stephen King. But yeah, definitely worth a read. Only 146 pages and they go by quickly. I know a lot of us readers always feel the pressure to read more books and to keep up with our goals and things like that 
but I don't want you to sacrifice quality just in the pursuit of quantity so I hope that these recommendations will help you to achieve both to finish your reading goal but also to do it in a way where you're consuming stories that you can really enjoy and walk away from feeling like you didn't just waste a bunch of your time either way I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you got something good out of it if you have some extra time to subscribe to my channel comment down below like this video share it with somebody who loves to read as well I would really appreciate it and I will see you all next week with a new video goodbye mm -hmm.